I had grown up here in the Napa Valley. I decided when I was about 19 that I wanted to get into the wine business, uh, following in my dad's footsteps. That very first harvest I worked, I was probably on my 80th hour of work. It must have been a Saturday night. It was probably 8 o'clock at night, and I was driving a tractor with a manure spreader on the back, spreading pumice from the day's work. And I was dirty, I probably didn't smell very good, very tired, but the sun was setting over the Mayakamas Mountains and I sat there, I remember thinking to myself, there's no place I would rather be right now. And that was kind of it, and I never really looked back after that. My favorite thing about what I do for a living is, is the varied experiences on a given day. It can be anything from sitting at a desk doing a spreadsheet to walking a vineyard making a picking decision to blending wines to tasting a competitive set of wines and, and grading them. It's just incredibly diverse. Uh, the most challenging part of what I do is the exact same thing as my favorite part, where you have to have a really diverse set of skills, not only technical expertise and understanding grape growing and winemaking, but also then the, the people part. Every year we're learning a little bit, and you have to remember that we only get to do what we do once a year. If I work 35 years here, uh, which I hope to do, I'll make Silver Oak 35 times. So there's always room to get better from year to year and, and respond to that unique vintage differently. It's a big responsibility being part of a winery that has the legacy that Silver Oak and Timmy have. A lot of groundwork has been laid before me and I, I see a big part of my job as being a steward of that and carrying it forward.